Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 87. Overall season's coming. Look at that guy's overalls. You got him right on the side of a building. I could while away the hours conferring with the flowers consulting with the rain in my head i'd be scratching while my thoughts are busy hatching if i only had a brain today er, early in the morning dude talking about it's 10 30. time to make some louisiana tea three bags three i use three bro three big ones Yes, I know you're just just worried sick because we put white sugar, white granul white granulated processed sugar in our tea. Uncle Sai does not use sugar in his tea for good reason. We're not there yet, bro. We're not there yet. I'm working on it. Today's tea was specially blended for going barefoot. It was also also specially blended for sitting in the shade. Specially blended for days off. There are no days off. If you're a parent, there are no days off. You know what's funny about my phone right now? Is it's actually off. I'm actually talking to myself in the kitchen because nobody's here and I'm just talking to myself doing what I do. I'm making tea. I'm going to hit some coffee. I gotta fill my bur big Berkey up with some water. My phone's not even working. I mean, they're not tracking you. They, they can't. They can't really look into your phone when your phone's off, are they? Can you hear me? Oh, you can hear me. This is gonna be quick. Today is, real quickly, about tuners. <laughs> if you saw my U.S. Grant when I went to his birthplace video a few episodes back, I got this, look, it's legit like little happy trees. They're breath mints. Love Bob Ross. Why am I wasting your time? Why are you watching me? Go do something. Why are you spying on me, bro? I'm not doing nothing. Just making coffee, making tea, putting water in my fluoride free big Berkey water filtration system, fluoride. There is poison in the tap water if you believe that sort of thing. I do. Hold on, bro, just chill. This won't be a long one. I've been putting out some epically long videos lately. And I guess the kids nowadays don't like to watch epically long videos. There. Now we'll have some fresh water. Let me coffee up. Oh, hold on. So for this tea, I don't bring it to boil anymore. I drop, I get it pretty, well, I see bubbles down there. Drop three big bags in. 20 minutes. I used to do it for five. Then we raised it to seven minutes. Now I just put it for 20 minutes. Harness the tea. Okay. I'd unravel every riddle for my individual in trouble or in pain with the thoughts that you'll be thinking you could be another Lincoln if you only had a brain. Orange, California. For some reason, he's, uh, Yosemite Sam is sitting on a basketball. Okay. I'm not into basketball. Listen, the hot sauce guitar kitchen is not into basketball or golf. 
If you play basketball and you play golf, good on you, bro. Two thumbs up. We're all real proud of you. <laughs> but I'm not into it. Orange, California. This gentleman, who, by the way, just sent me a photo of him and his wife. He'd been married for 48 years. I'm 48, bro. I'm not going to tell you how old these guys are. It's none of your business. But they're not 30, and they're not in their teens. This guy and his wife, they look like they're 12. I say 12. <laughs> they, look like they're, they look like they're in their 20s or 30s. So the years have been kind to Orange, California, for real. All right, check it out. I got to hurry up because it's 11.58, and I got to get ready to watch band.video because we got to be watching and praying. All right, so this is going to be quick. What am I doing, and why do you care? This gentleman, oh, by the way, here's his purple heart neck gluing up. He watched Del Puckett's Masterclass 2020 video episode five, and Del has a box in there, and, the, and he's using a purple neck, so we went purple neck. But, but we, and we went black to back box. So check it. This gent wants a neck, wants a string through body. This is my first time doing this. So I've notched out, I think I've already said this in the uh, previous shots, but I've notched this out. The neck's gonna sit in here wonderfully, like it, inside the box, and then I'm gonna close it. Now normally, what you would do, why well, don't I say normally, there's really kind of no normally. I don't want normally with cigar boxing. People just will take your bridge or your whatever you're gonna put your strings through and kind of put them through here like this and then put like a tail piece right here. You know, there's a whole bunch of different ways. He did not want the, the neck coming through the body. Like get. He didn't want that. And you can do it like this, where you use something like this to hold your strings, right? You've seen that technique? Well, my dude's got me raising my game again. Here on build number 56 which began on the weekend of the 17th and the 18th. He wants, I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna get these um, top, these um, saddles. I'll have to show it to you when I get them. But, they, but the strings will come up either through the top of these, like through here, or, or they can come up from underneath, like, they, they would come up through there and then they would come through the top of the box and then go over. And this would be the bridge and the tailpiece all in one. It's a really tight design. Now, the challenge here is he wants the strings to go through the body. So, when the strings go through the body, they are going to want to Pull this because the strings are going to be pulling pulling this way. Does that make sense? So remember, tension. Tension. And pray for you, I will, my brother. I'm actually thinking about you right now because I just left Ace Hardware is mandating this mask. And so I walked in there to get you a spring. Just one spring. And they got the big stupid sign right when you walk in. And I said, I'm not wearing the mask. And then they gave me a bunch of stuff. And so I asked for the manager and I was like, hey, listen, I'm not gonna shop here right now. And I, I need you to contact your mayor or your governor and tell them, stop making this mandatory. Push back, just push back. I'm not saying violent overthrow, just push back and say, let the customers wear it or don't wear it. So I, I calmly left. I said, I'm not shopping here. This is my protest. I'll just go to Lowe's, dude. And she said, well, you go do what you gotta do. So my point to you is 
They're making every as they're making at least in Ohio here. They're making every aspect of our lives down to the most minute detail aggravating. He is on his way. I gotta go blacker. What's bl what's what's more black? That's the way. I, that's the color that it was. This is the color that it's getting closer to, but it needs to be black. Listen, my dude Tony. Hey Tony over here. Tony wants this thing black, bro. He said more black. What's blacker than black? So this is black, classic black stain. And ebony is like really expensive. I mean, I, I, and I went to Stuart McDonald online last night because I just typed in a search query for ebony fretboards just to come. I went to Woodcrafter and theirs is like really thick and it's really expensive. I mean, we're cigar boxing for a living, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I went to Stu Mac last night. Stu at McDonald. And I found, hopefully, what I believe is going to be a inexpensive option. Because if you go to Stu Mac, they even mention on there that ebony is, like dark black ebony is becoming more and more rare. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. And they even have an option, it's called India Black Ink, where you can actually stain this more black because people want exactly what Orange California wants, more black. So I'm gonna try it on this. I've already pre-did the holes. This is a 23 inch scale fret spacing. And so if this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board Continuing, of course, going slow and low. We're not in a hurry. So when the strings go through here, in here, on top of the body, and they're gonna wanna pull this way, right? And then come up over the box and then pull this way. So, as opposed to like filling this whole cavity with a big old giant hunk of wood, what I'm gonna do here is, is I found a piece of USA made, love it. We're paying a little more attention to that these days. It's more, it's becoming more important. Not that I'm, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna give a political statement right now. It's USA made and I'm happy and it's hardwood. But the point here is, is this is a threshold for your door. Like you would normally use this for something like this in your house. See that? And this would go like this. So that way you would get this transition for when you go out of your door, this piece right here. And this piece right here, if you have tile here, if, you, if you've ever done flooring work, you know that this, this piece of wood right here will just kind of stop. And they use these to give you a nice transition. That's what this was. And I got this piece right here for three bucks at Habitat for Humanity, which makes me happy. We're trying to keep this cheap. Not for the sake of being cheap, but because we're tr we're not trying to build. We're just building cigar box guitars. All right, here's my point. I gotta go, yo. I gotta turn Alex on to see what's going on. So this has been glued. I mean, this has been painted. So I'm roughing it up to accept glue. And I've cut this to shape. The reason why I use this, that, that hardwood, as opposed to just a normal piece of just Wood is quite frankly because it's rounded. See that inside these boxes, I'm now trying to get away from, if at all possible, having real hard corners. Now you can still see one here. I mean, give me a break. But that, this where it goes, whamp, whamp. I put that little round quarter around here. It's stuff that you may not ever even hear. But anyways, when given the choice of these two, and I have them both here, I'm gonna put him here like so. So, see I got them all tight like that. So that way when my strings come through the body, does that make sense? And I have little string furls, it's gonna go through here 
and this is going to give me enough structural integrity to like they can pull all day long. This guy's been Orange, California, bro, and they have they've had earthquakes there. I just sent this guy a text and said, "I'm going to make this box like if you have an earthquake and you guys lose everything, you'll still have a cigar box guitar to play." I told him he can look deeply into his his wife's eyes because she's smoking hot, bro. They've been married 48 years. This guy's blessed, bro. They've been taking care of themselves. He can look into her eyes and go, unsure. So that's what we'll talk about right now. It's these small details, you know what I'm saying? So when you have them all on one side, whether it's the right or the left, and CB Giddy, <clears throat> excuse me with this throat thing, on all their templates, they do make them, so it's not uncommon to do them on, on one side. That's why it's sort of a decision. Because when you're tuning it, it is sort of more efficient just to reach over and one, two, three. I mean, it's just, real, it's like a real kind of a, it's not a lazy man thing, it's just sort of more efficient just to go, when you're tuning, go one, two, three, one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three. Okay, you get it. All right. Now, for look wise, for balance wise, when you have this, sometimes it's a real estate thing because sometimes you don't got a lot of space on these headstocks. Sometimes you have to do it like this. You got to pre plan that. Actually, that's going to answer his question. Yeah, I have to do three and three. Here, let me pause and tell him that. You want to know why? Because. I don't think I have enough space on here to do it three. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three. No, I do. He's lucky. So he has the choice now. I have space to do th three on one side or two and then the one in the bottom. That's fun. That's what makes this this fun is, you know, you got these fun little decisions you can make. So he's going to come back out with me. I got to look at, if you look at my Instagram, this is what I just told my dude right here, Tony, Orange, California. If you look at my Instagram, which I'm pretty much using the Instagram is like a portfolio. I'm not trying to do much more with it, but just to say, here's some of my work to reference and to buy. Some of those guitars in there are for sale, by the way. So if you haven't seen my Instagram, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, one, two, three, four. There's four guitars for sale in there. So, tuners. He's going to come at me. Now, as I wrap this video up, here's what I wanted to talk about, tuners-wise. Also, do you have detailed notes for your clients? You should. This gentleman... He's got ideas, and so, oh, hear that? There you go, bro. T du jour. I need to pull this out in a minute, but let me finish my point, then I'll wrap this video up. Detailed plans. Now, also, check this out. This is why. This right here, even though these are cheap tuners, you get them at CB Giddy. They're cheap. They're I don't, what I mean cheap is they're inexpensive, but they work. Now, I used to have this thing where I felt as though I had to buy like really expensive tuners, and sometimes I will. I'm not saying I won't. If I go eBay it up, and someone's got some used tuners on there, dude, I'll scoop them up for sure. But these are long. They go through these necks real well. Because this is important. This is an important detail. Sometimes. These little posts will be short, and then you gotta kinda like drill down into your headstock to get them to fit. I like these CB Giddy ones because they come right through here, look. If you use one of these pieces of wood like you get from a big box store, they sell this, this wood like in this exact size. So you can do this, it's one reason why I love them. And also, they're inexpensive, but also, as though they are inexpensive, the old school, I have a friend, my bro who lives up in Michigan, 
he is into like classic flamenco and baroque style guitars, like the old school ones. And those guys make tension pegs. Go do some research on tension pegs. Like the old, like if you want to go hardcore old school, like I'm going to go backwoods ghetto, take a piece of wood, drill a hole in it, and then twist it to hold the string. That's cool. There's a technology to that. It's sort of cumbersome if you don't know what you're doing. My point being is this is a nice technology that saves you from having to do that. You can do that. I'm going to try doing that. But I've tried before and it was like, I just was like, yo, dude, I'm not trying to craft to fabricate these. But check it out. I tore one apart today. And look, it, one, two, three, four. Now look, the, there's power in the details. See these two little rings right here? When I, can you see that? Let me zoom in here a little bit. My light's all screwy in here. Got like that light up there and those two right here. I'm gonna listen, I'm not a studio here. This is in my kitchen, bro. Okay. These two little details right here. Okay. Watch this. I tore this apart and I put it back together again. But these two right here fell. And I didn't see him fall. Look. Alright, remember where's Waldo? Oh, you guys don't know about where's Waldo. Alright. Raise your hand if you can see. Raise your hand if you can see where those little rings are. Can you see them? Okay, can I help you? Okay, what's, what's going on down here? Oh, you had to have your ball. Seriously, dude? <laughs> okay. Negative vibes out. You're supposed to be ordering supplies. I got two more boxes to get shipped out here, bro. Ever since he quit smoking, or well, he's trying to quit smoking, he's relieving the, the nicotine withdrawals with a, like playing with a ball. That's how he gets through it. <laughs> All right, do you see him? They're right here, look, duh. One, look, two. It's a detail thing. If you didn't install those when you put this back together again, this thing, your tuners won't work correctly. They'll be all grindy. So look, look, see right now, I can't even find it. There it is. All right. So that's this video. What did you learn from this video? Probably nothing. I hope I'm not meandering. But look, so my point being is, here's my point. Appreciate the technology, regardless of where it was made. Certainly someone in America can craft these on the cheap. Certainly somebody in America can craft these on, on the cheap. I mean, somebody can. They're not right now. <laughs> I guess in the world right now, there's probably bigger things to worry about than what itsy bitsy little tuners are crafted. That's, it. That's an episode right there. Bob Ross... Happy little trees. Appreciate the small things in life. Did you dig it? The Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen is not necessarily looking for subscribers and for likes. Just glad you stopped by to say hi. You can look around. Their whole house, like, everything will be shook into the ground. They'll, they'll, it'll, they'll be devastated. They've lost everything. He can grab his guitar. He can go, hey, baby, look. Look, he can go, <clears throat> somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he's going to sing it. Like, he might, I, I, 
He can he can take his, his cigar box guitar if he's got a battery powered Vox amp and run it through some barbecue gain and be like somewhere over the rainbow ball, looking deeply into her eyes and saying, "It's all good, woman. We lost it all, but look, the hot sauce guitar kitchen they got us taken. He's got us taken care of. He can't call his wife son. He can't call her old girl, like Nancy."